Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, April the 10th, 2023. Monday, April the 10th. Well, we had some action. I liked General Hospital today, everybody. Truly, truly liked it, okay? Now, <clears throat> Esme, Laura gets her up off the floor. Her head is hurting. The guy conked her on the head pretty darn good, so we know what's going to happen. Going to start jarring those memories. They're going to come back. She's still going to hide it, but that traumatic head injury is going to jar her memory. I already, I already know that, right? So uh, the police are on their way. Dante comes with some cops. They call par uh, paramedics and Laura convinces Esme to go to the hospital with them because, you know, <clears throat> they need to make sure she's okay, right? So she agrees to go, but she is frantic, you know, and she's telling Dante, you have to find my baby. He's all I have in this world, right? And she initially said, Nicholas did it. And Laura was like, wait, what? And so uh, Dante's like, do you think Nicholas was here? So Laura goes back to her and says, Esme, did you physically see Nicholas? And she goes, no, but who else could be behind it? Spencer, and you, is that why you left? Because look, she's quick to not trust Laura. Laura's like, no, honey, no. That's not why I left. And I would never do anything like this she goes no no you're right you're right but where's my baby so whatever now she's off to the hospital right we have i loved this part loved it sunny walks over well well why is it every time i look up i find you two together And he's looking at him. And Dex is like, uh, and Justin was like, and Sonny's like, look, I've known for months that you two have been sneaking around seeing each other. See, we knew Sonny couldn't be that stupid, right? We knew it. And he goes, but you lied to me. You've been lying to me. He says, if it wasn't for the fact that you saved my life in that warehouse, he said, we would be having a very different conversation right now. And by the way, does your mama know you seeing him? Uh, uh, yes. And I'm supposed to take your word for it? Um, you can ask her. She's not happy about it, but she knows it's my life. Oh, well, what happened to? Don't ask me if my mama know I'm seeing him. I see who I want to see. Because I'm grown, Sonny. Yeah. We don't have to tell you everything, Sonny. Because I can't stand you. No, no, no. Look, you see the look on Jocelyn's face? It's, um, uh, ex-stepfather, sir. You like a daddy to me? Uh, sorry, daddy. Sorry, stepdaddy. Uh, yep. Yeah. Something to finally shut Jocelyn up. Because, look, if Sonny, like he said, Dex got a brownie point, but no brownie point, Dex will be hanging from another meat hook, right? Because you're sneaking around. You're lying to me. And you're one of my employees I'm supposed to trust. So Sonny tells Dex, I need, no, Sonny tells both of them. I am not about, what did he say? Uh, let's see, Sonny. I'm not about to be the romance police. <laughs> He's like, uh-uh. He says, I'm not interested in being the romance police. 
long as this don't interfere with your work, it won't boss. It won't, it won't interfere at all. And Jocelyn's like, it, it won't. That's like, look, let me tell you, Sonny. I already know about pikemen, right? I already know so much. <laughs> pillow, pillow talk is crazy with this guy. Right. So Jocelyn is like, no, no, she ain't saying nothing, right? So he says, and I got an I got a job for you. And you know what Jocelyn does? Oops, let me let me exit. She immediately, oh, let me let y'all talk, right? Let whoop, whoop, Sonny, go ahead. Let me, I'm leaving. Stage left, right? Jocelyn didn't stand there. Like, what job? What you want him to do now? Is he gonna get shot? Cause he, you know, no, no, she did a Carly. See, you know when the exit stage left and or right, right? She did. I said, uh-huh, Jocelyn, you got some sense, don't you? You got some sense. Mm. So needless to say, Jocelyn goes back to the dorm. Her and Trina are supposed to be going to a party. At the, at the college, right? So she, uh, Portia showed up there thinking Trina's in there. Trina don't answer. Jocelyn comes up. Jocelyn lets her in. They have a nice, you know, Portia was going to leave, but Jocelyn says, why don't you stay? Trina should be home any minute. Why don't you stay just to see how it goes, right? So they talk and I fast forwarded everything they talk. I didn't care, care about Jocelyn talking. Portia cares about that, right? So I fast forwarded all of that. And then I saw Portia leave through the fast forward. And Jocelyn's laying on her bed texting Trina, where are you? Right? So I'm thinking, Trina, I know where you at, girl. I know exactly where you at. Well, you shouldn't be at. But anyway, we got Valentine. This poor man is broke down, crying like a baby every <laughs> I thought she was indispensable. <laughs> Felicia's like, she did everything but put his head on her shoulder, right? Because he was just gone. And so he goes, listen. You gotta be, you know, you you've gotta be strong or something. She said, and he's like, why or, ooh, you know, because Anna's strong, and you know, ooh, and he goes, she goes, you gotta be strong for Charlotte, because she sees Charlotte come off the elevator. She Felicia called Mac and told Mac, look, pick Charlotte up. Valentine needs her at the hospital. Oh yes, yes, Mac. Valentine is alive, Mac. Uh -huh. And I know you know Lucy's alive, Mac, and Anna's barely alive, but she was alive, Mac. You know, had to keep you in the dark, Mac. And guess what, Mac? Holly didn't get burned in that fire, Mac. None of that. So Valentine looks and he sees... He don't call her Bon Appetit because he's my, what does he call her by the <laughs> Bon Appetit is a good meal, I guess, or eat up, or he calls her whatever he calls her. There's a little French name for her, right? Minya, I don't know what he calls her. I forget it, right? And I looked at that teenager. I said, that, yep, aged her a little bit more. There she go. There's Charlotte, right? So, Oh, he he instantly goes into whoop. Got to go into daddy mode. He straightens up all that snibbling. Hugs her. She hugs him. She said that was at a at a friend's house for a sleepover when you know uh, Felicia called a car, a police car to pick me up and she goes actually that was Mac. That was Mac that did that. That was Mac. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway um, he talks to Charlotte and she's talking about I hate Victor and he's like look I don't want that for you because 
That means he's so important to you that you're keeping that emotion alive in you regarding him. I want you to, and she goes, well, I'm not going to like him. He goes, no, no, I don't want, uh -uh. I want you to forget he ever exists. Don't even let him take up any space in your thoughts. None, he's not worth it. And I thought, ah, that was pretty good, Valentine. Because I just said, baby girls or anybody, if there is anybody you can hate, in this world, yeah, let's hate, let's hate my father, your grandpa. Let's hate him. Ooh. <laughs> so, anyway. so, you know, they have a good little talk. And there's still no word on Anna. You know, Laura is is still at home with Dante, and they've got the footage of the guy getting in the service elevator. He's got a gun hanging out his back, you know. And then they see him getting in the elevator with Ace and Laura says, oh my God, she knows. He goes, that's whatever his name, Hugo. I don't think it's Hugo, but that's Hugo, Victor's bodyguard. And he goes, she goes, they knew Victor was the common denominator, but now this is proof, right? That Victor's bodyguard took the baby. I was wondering why Laura was not asking about Charlotte. She knew Charlotte was spending the night at a friend's house, okay, which is good. But you think Laura would have eased her mind a little bit. So Dante, don't worry, Charlotte wasn't here. She's spending the night away. You know, I had to hear it from the girl herself. I don't know if I like that. Laura, you know, let us know. So anyway, <laughs> anyway. That was that was pretty good, you know. We we really got nowhere with that, but the other good part was we're dealing with Dex. Sunny sends Dex Dex through the crawl space. Now Carly and Drew comes to tell Sunny because all Sunny knows is I don't know how Lucy escaped the safe house, but I saved Lucy <clears throat> because guess you want to know how Sunny doesn't know what else happened. Because Lucy never told him. Well, after he saved Lucy, see, this is why I ain't got nothing for Lucy Co. ever again in my life, right? She didn't say, Anna, I mean, the, the safe house was ambushed. Sonny should have straight out said, how'd you get out the safe house? And then Lucy should have told, but Lucy should have just told him because she don't even know that what happened to Anna and Valentine? She doesn't, because she don't care. She didn't care to even ask, right? So <clears throat> Drew tells Sonny, I'm here to let you know. He goes, Sonny, I need to speak to you. And Sonny's like, you, what, Drew? You know, so he goes, okay. So Drew tells him, look, Anna is shot. She's in uh, surgery right now at GH. Victor came and raided the safe house, or invaded the safe house, you know, got the diamond. And and Nina's like, wait, what? Huh? And Cardi's just standing there like, yeah, okay, what else happened? Mm -hmm, that sounds about right. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> you know, and said he's got the ice princess. That's something Victor wanted because there's some kind of code in one of the diamonds. We don't know what he wanted for, but, you know, Cassidy. And they said, well, wait a minute. This means Victor is not even caring to clean up his mess then he's got an escape plan he's 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 got a plan and he's leaving still hasn't dawned on Sonny Spencer's gone right it hasn't also done he hasn't gotten word that baby ace has been kidnapped you know because all these different people are handling these crises separately and Nina is like, no, my aunt. And Dex comes and says, I found this in the crawl space. It was what was on Britta's, Brit it was Britta's that, you know, Lisa wore in her Britta's bracelet, right? And she goes, this is very important to my aunt. He says, for, she says, for one thing, she, she was not supposed to be in a crawl space. And for two, she never would have let this fall off. It would be too important to her. And so she goes, and, and Carly's like, but she knows how important the moment, you know, now though, that they're hearing this, they're starting to think Lisa, 
but they're not thinking just two years ago, Victor kidnapped Liso and had Scott thrown out of an airplane. That's Liso suddenly missing and Victor making his move should be the first thing on everybody's mind. It's Victor, right? And so as they're talking, Nina steps to the side and she's thinking about what Carly said. You better accept everything about Sonny and his world if you want to be in his life. So Carly says, oh my God, I've got to, Liesl's miss, I've got to tell Michael and Willow about this. And so Sonny goes, Dex can drive you. <clears throat> and Drew goes, no, I could drive her. No, I got a car, I could drive her, man. So they leave. And Nina goes, you know, for the first time, I'm not mad. Carly's going to be there to tell Willow. And I'm so happy, finally using her name, Willow, not my daughter, my daughter. Be there with Willow. Because she could comfort Willow. I need to find my Aunt Liesl. And you're going to help me. And he looked at her. She goes, I need. No, he goes, uh, you want me to help you? She goes, I need your help. To find my Aunt Liesl. Willow's life depends on it. And so Sonny said, you know what you're asking me to do, right? And she's like, yeah, and I need my aunt found. Nina's like, I don't care who you have to torture, who you have to kill, who you have to take hostage who you have to chop some limbs off. Let's get the job done, man. You're my boss. Let's do it. She didn't say that. <laughs> she didn't say that. But she, <laughs> but she was like, no, whatever it takes. Isn't it funny? People do the whatever it takes in a heartbeat to, to Sonny and or Jason. Remember Jocelyn went to Jason. I forget who Jocelyn wanted Jason to kill. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you, 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 I would never let you live with, with that. You know, I do remember little Spencer letting Sonny know he needed to eliminate Valentine. <laughs> and he meant eliminate him. <laughs> right? Spencer. Woo. And speaking of Spencer. It's about to get on and popping on that boat. Victor underestimated the muscle power that he needs. We got an Obrit who within herself is a lethal firecracker. We have Spencer that you think you can control. We have poor little, when the nanny walked out with, 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 with cuteness in the house, cuteness looked over at Spencer and said, they got me too, Spence. They got me too, brother. I, look, the only thing I could do right now is be good <laughs> because I don't know these people, Spencer. You're the first one I really, really know. Huh? <laughs> you know, and Spencer saw his brother and said, what is my brother doing on this boat? Victor, I don't even know if he said Uncle Victor. Victor, what do you mean? I told you your whole family of families here. You wanted your brother. I wanted, you were supposed to help me frame Esme so she could go to jail so I could get my brother. This is not in the plan. And Victor goes, hey, Young Spencer plans change. Plans change. And yep, this is for your good and for the good of your brother. I'm all the family you need. He goes, Uncle Victor. And this is before he sees the baby. Spencer's like, I'm going to jump off this boat and I'm going to swim back to shore. And Victor has his Hugo come out. And Spencer's like, 
what you got? He almost said what you going to do, but he looked at Hugo and thought, yeah, I know what he going to do. And so he goes, look, Hugo's here for the protection of me and you. You're going to appreciate this. And Spencer goes back over to him. He says, you are going to abduct me against my will? You're not in prison, Spencer. You're with family. And we're going on a journey. And in time, you're going to see it's best for you. I'm surprised Victor didn't have Charlotte. I really am. Because that would have crippled Valentine to his knees, right? So Spencer said, look, let me tell you something. This is after he sees the baby. You need to send the baby home. Send her back to my grandmother. Him back to my grandmother. And I will promise you, I will go anywhere you want to go. But let, let my brother go. He goes, no. He goes, you don't need to be under the influence of that Laura Collins. And under the, that, that's Trina Robinson. She made you soft. Mm, right? And Spencer said, don't you. And this is that top right picture right there. Don't you mention Trina's name. Ooh. See? Wait. You said what? <laughs> Trina? And he goes, you need to be away from her, my boy. He goes, see? I'm emotional about it. And guess who we see his face peeking from around the, the bend? Trina. We see Trina. And I said, girl, for one, kudos. How did you get past Hugo? Because Hugo came from that way when he stopped Spencer from jumping off. Where you been, Trina? Right? Now, at some point, and we know it's tomorrow, Trina's going to be found. But that's going to put Spencer in a whole. Victor better not. Hugo put Trina where Obrecht is. Because look, the Honest Star only has so many rooms. They already made a nursery. We already know the main stateroom is Victor's. They gave Spencer some kind of suite. The Honest Star is not a hotel, right? It's a party boat. So. If they catch Trina, they're going to have to put her with Obrecht. Good. Because now we're going to have two together conspiring. But if, if Spencer knows Trina's on that boat, he's going to, I'm telling you, he would try to kill Victor. Because what Victor now is going to do is, is resort to, to threats and blackmail. That if you want her safe, then you better do exactly as I asked because Victor's first um, inclination or, or his first thing he's going to want to do is tell Hugo, throw Trina off the, off the boat. And Spencer going to be a Valentine. You do that. You better not ever sleep for the rest of your ever loving night. Life, Uncle Victor. Because I'm going to kill you. You throw Trina off this boat. Right? One thing is for sure, by the simple fact of them putting Trina in the mix, I could tell this is not going to go on too, too long. Because let's see if Trina's smart. Now, her phone is on silent because Jocelyn texted her. And Jocelyn's been calling her. Right? Trina needs to text back. On the hunted star. Hunted. Haunted star. Victor Cassidy has baby Ace and Spencer. See, Trina, you heard enough. Now, boom, text for help, Trina. Text for help. Right? Let's see. So we shall see. We'll see how this goes. 
It's going to come to a quick end because Willow's not going to die. She's going to fall into a coma, but Willow's not going to die. And now that Sunny is involved, Sunny's going to be the one to finally, Sunny's going to go into overdrive. I think Sunny's going to be the true catalyst of finding uh, Victor. And Michael's going to be in his debt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Michael. Yeah. Okay. Right? So, good day. Good day on General Hospital. It was a definite beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh my goodness. I said, now see, that's that's some good soap right there. That, that was really, really good. Now look, comment corner, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something. I love it. Love all the comments, but we have 44 of them. My voice can't handle it. I I, I did very well. Doing what I did with the daily recap, I was able to be a little funny. I was able to laugh a little bit, but trust me, I'm swallowing extra hard. And I just had a cough lozenger before I got on, right? So I want to thank each and every one of you for the 40, any, our daily recap family. If it's one thing we're good at, we're good at reading each other's comments and co <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me y'all see starting we're good at reading each other's comments and commenting on each because we we do some gh talk in, in the comment corner and i was loving it i was loving reading all, and the one comment that i will comment on okay i haven't heard this or seen this that helena casted see you never know that chick ain't dead just like lou spencer ain't dead Seriously, right? Elena Cassadine is supposed to be, Helena, is supposed to be coming back in May for May sweeps. If in fact Helena comes back, I do believe she'll be the one to kill Victor. Seriously. Victor was never, you know, never in charge. Helena, he was definitely under her, right? She would have to come down to put the smack down. But then it's like, goodness, the which one is the Lisa of two evils? Victor is horrible, but Helena is lethal. That snake is just, her venomous bite is something else. So, you know, my whole thing is, I don't know that I want Helena back because Helena is going to woo. Oh my goodness. Helena's going to do some stuff. So we shall see. Let's hope that's just a wild, wild rumor. I'm hoping, seriously. Because I don't, look, Helena even makes Valentine shudder. And that's the man's mama. Wow. Okay. So anyway, everybody read Comment Corner because it's great. It's just, I, I, I don't have the stamina to do 48 comments because you know me, I read a comment and I start talking for another five minutes off that one comment. So um, <clears throat> I will be back tomorrow for another daily recap of General Hospital and Lord, it's getting good finally.